What's going on everybody? It's Avi Becker from the Santa Barbara Group, but today we're not in Santa Barbara. We're in Tarzana, Los Angeles. I'm here with my really good friend, Rockstar Realtor, Kevin Stewart with the agency, and he's invited us to check out his newest listing. Thank you. So the house is built in 2021. It's 7,000 square feet, five bedrooms, plus a theater and an office and eight bathrooms. Avi's gonna give you a tour and I'm gonna catch up with you guys later. Let's go check this one out, it's epic. This place is amazing. First of all, you have huge vaulted ceilings, so much space. Right off to the right is this super cozy little nook with a fireplace, some beautiful furniture to seat and host guests. And the thing I love so much about this house is the flow is incredible. It flows right through. You see the wet bar, another seating area, you can watch the game, and you can even see your friends in the kitchen while they're cooking up some snacks. So right here you have the formal dining area which then flows into even more outdoor seating for an outdoor patio setup. You got the couch where you can watch the game of course and the kitchen is huge and it flows right back through there. You see all the natural light, all those sliding panels, that door completely opens up, those windows open out so you can see everybody hanging out outside, get that natural great California air in the inside too. This kitchen is insane. First of all, I love the contrast in this house. You have light floors but you see you have the darker countertops the darker lighting fixtures attached to that lighter wood up top, light ceiling, so the contrast is beautiful. It's like a work of art. Look at the space in this kitchen, and I mean the appliances are fantastic. You have a dual chef's pro oven back there. There's recessed lighting everywhere, so you can kind of set the light to your perfect mood, but the thing is you get so much natural light from all the windows and the sliders that during the day it's not even necessary. So you have a massive double fridge right here, which is blended in with all the other cabinets, so much storage and pantry space, and as you kind of move your way back to the sides of the kitchen, you can see really what you're working with with in terms of an oven. It's massive, double burners. You could host a dinner party for a huge group here. You got the microwave attached right here, built into the cabinetry, and the countertops just go on forever. It seems like you have infinite space to work with in this kitchen. And when you wanna open things up, maybe say hi to your friends outside in the pool area, take a look at this massive multi-pane slider. Opens all the way through. Boom. So as you move into the outdoor space from the kitchen and the living room, you have the mostly faceted sliding panel doors that open all the way out so you really get to enjoy the outdoor space. You have the sitting area and the fireplace which both overlook into the infinity pool. This backyard is epic. So you have some beautiful groundskeeping out here as well, lots of privacy hedges. And what I also really love is you have that little pool cabana with a TV and a little couch set up, as well as a shower and a bathroom so your guests can rinse off after they hit the infinity pool. And what I love about this pool area is on a cold day like today, if you're not feeling the pool, you get the hot tub which flows over into the pool. And there's so much space in this side yard. You got the bar overflow from the kitchen area right there, the barbecue and a sink setup built in right here. I mean, just look at how aesthetic and beautiful this house is. So coming back inside the house, obviously there's a lot of rooms if you want to host guests for sleepovers, but also there's a lot of amenities and things to do. Gym, movie theater, garage that's been turned into a golf simulator. Let's go check all of it out. We're not too far away from Hollywood, so of course you got to have the in-house full movie theater. We got eight chairs, but other room for people to hang out on the floor with the projector, the massive screen, even the popcorn maker. I mean, why go to the movie theaters when you have this spot? Coming out of the movie theater, you have this awesome office space right here, which opens up into the back. I love the light fixture. It's a great space to get all your work done. And then this right here flows out. You got a beautiful full bathroom, high ceilings, really nice done tile, large shower. Another thing I love about this house is everything was done with purpose. As you can see, there's a very geometric, beautiful wine and champagne storage area. There's lots of closets for all your other storage needs. And it just has such a really well thought out flow and design. On this side of the house, you have a beautiful half bath powder room. I love the light fixtures. This comes kind of beautiful orbs of light. It's got that darker stone gold finishes to match. And then you come into this room. This room has been converted into a gym, so when you don't have time to go to the main gym, you can get a nice pump on in here. It's got everything you need, the Peloton, the free weights, the rubber mat flooring. You have a little gaming area set up here too if you wanna to hit the arcades. And I like how this also has another full bathroom. So if you need to get a shower in, but you don't wanna enter into the main part of the house, you got that same kind of really aesthetic tile work and a nice full bath here. So now we're gonna take the trip upstairs. What I love about this staircase is it's really wide and open and the ceilings are huge. 
The light fixtures are super cool. You have all this kind of natural wood flow that looks so good. Obviously the matte black accents that are throughout the house, everything aesthetically matches so well. And the upstairs area has so much space and you can even entertain more people up here. Check this out. You walk up into the upstairs area, another seating area with a TV, watch the game, maybe watch a show or a movie if the theater's taken or if the living room is taken. I'm gonna walk you guys first into the master bedroom all the way on the back side of this house. So as you walk into the primary, you have all this built-ins area for storage. There's even a drink cooler right here. If you're feeling thirsty in the middle of the night, you don't have to go downstairs. Just hit your cooler right there on the drink. The ceilings are so beautiful exposed open wood, super tall and vaulted. You got a fireplace, a TV, sitting area, so much natural light, beautiful vistas off the back porch. This room is sweet. And maybe one of my favorite rooms in this entire masterful house is the primary bathroom suite. Come check this spot out. This spot is amazing. There's so much space. Look at the separation between the dual vanity sinks. You got a full bathtub, you have a toilet area that's super private with a door. And then I mean, just imagine taking a shower in this spot. Dual Rainmaker heads. I love the dark stone finish with the lighter stone on the bottom. There's just such large presence in terms of the ceilings here. So much room to just hang out, enjoy a nice hot shower after a long day or maybe even hit the tub. Okay, off the back side of the primary bedroom, you have this massive walk-in closet. What's awesome in this walk-in as well is everything is really tight. You have a lot of room for storage. Everything's put away in these built-ins. All the built-ins on the back side are glass and it looks really aesthetic. There's just so much room to put everything in. So you're not gonna have any clutter if you're living in this house. So moving now towards this side of the upstairs level, you have another full bed and bath through that wing but I wanna show you guys really what it looks like if you were gonna be a guest in this house because even the guest bedrooms have massive in-suite bathrooms and plenty of room to relax. So come check out this bedroom. Nice big window out here, plenty of room. You got your closet set up right here. I like the texture on the side walls right here, it gives another a little aesthetic bump. And then the bathroom is really nice and spacious. You have the tub if you want or the shower, big vanity area, nice tiling on the backside like the big kind of gray tiles along the wall and super high ceilings. This house just feels so spacious because everything is so elevated when it comes to the ceilings. Coming from the guest bedroom on this side, you have the laundry room. I really like the tile, lots of room for storage. It's aesthetic, it's nice and clean. And as you move down the hallway, we have a whole nother bed with an in-suite bathroom. It's really nice and separate from the other rooms as well, which I really like. You kind of see the light fixture is kind of chic and cool. You have nice natural lightings from big dual pane windows. The closet is really spacious for a room this size and then the bathroom is really nice too. Come check it out. So the bathroom in this bedroom is really clean, modern, sleek. It's got a really nice big shower. High ceilings like the other bathrooms are really like the black tile and the aesthetic in this one. I mean, this bathroom's big enough to be a primary in some other houses, so it's a great bathroom to have as a guest. Now we're across the ways in the final of the upstairs guest bedrooms. This one, same thing, a lot of natural light, multiple windows like in all the other guest bedrooms. The bathroom here is actually the same as the exact other one, but what I wanna show you is the closet size here. For a guest bedroom, look at the size of these closets. Plenty of room for all your clothes if you're staying here, if you're just coming to visit. So we've taken you through this beautiful house, all the bedrooms, all the features, the amenities, the movie theater, the pool, the outside area. This house even has a three car garage. This place has really got it all. It's a beautiful spot in LA. I'm stoked to be able to show it to you guys. Thank you guys so much for coming along this amazing property tour. Kev, thanks so much for having us out. You are very welcome. If you guys have any questions, if you wanna see this in person, which I definitely suggest you do, give us a call. You can call or text me and Avi, and we'd be happy to show it to you. See you on the next one, guys. Peace.